Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke. We're in the Jesus testing in, in the wilderness, Luke chapter 4. We're going to read today verses 5 through 8. So this is the second test that Jesus faces. Then the devil, taking him up on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority I will give you and their glory... For this has been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. Therefore, if you will worship before me, all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. So here's the second test in Luke's order. Matthew has a different order. That's a whole interesting question about why the order is different. That's probably not for today. But notice what we have here. The devil takes Jesus. Apparently, he could actually physically take him, takes him up into a very high place. And he says, look, all this is, is mine. He's, he's like put up, throwing off any pretense here that, uh, that he's, he's, he's some kind of an angel or something. He says, yeah, yeah, I'm the devil. Sure. And by the way, all this stuff's been given to me. Well, that's not exactly true, but he's going to claim it. The devil's a liar from the beginning, and you just can't trust a, a thing he says. It's always a mixture of truth and error. So he says, look, Jesus, all you got to do is proskune. All you got to do is bow down before me. Look, I'll just give you everything. This is going to be, I'll give you the easy path to heaven. You can have basically whatever you want. Just one thing, one little thing. Just bow down before me. Just you worship me and we'll be good. That's the temptation here. He says, I'll give you these kingdoms and all their glory. Now, when you look at Jesus' response, get thee behind me, Satan. It is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. Guess what? You've got to go back to Deuteronomy chapter 6 and guess what you've got there? The Israelites, we mentioned this yesterday morning, in the wilderness, they failed. Now, there's a statement there, and we won't take time to look it up here, but I'll just recount it to you. There's a statement back there. There's a warning back in, in Deuteronomy 6 where the Hebrews are told they're in the wilderness. They need to get things right. They're, you know, on the way to the promised land. And they're told, look, be careful. Don't forget me when you come into and you build houses for yourself and you, everything. You've got beautiful your own beautiful houses and everything is set up. You've got all the good stuff there. Don't you forget me at that time uh, because, you know, that would be disastrous. Well, look, this is what Satan offers Jesus. All this authority I'll give you and their glory, the glory of all these. Uh, Jesus, Satan gives him a picture of the world. Apparently he has the power to do that. And a picture maybe in the world, all fruitful, everybody happy, everybody joyful, you know, bouncing babies. And, and Jesus refuses to buy it. He says, no. He says, no, you will worship the Lord your God and he's the only one you would serve. And so Jesus repels this. Jesus is, is like the, the test in the wilderness for the Hebrews that they failed again. They fell back then. Jesus passes it. Jesus is our example. Jesus is our pattern. We want to be in him. We want to uh, we're not in him, by the way, if we're not following his example. You can't be like legally in Jesus and then pra practically in practice, you're out, you're, you're doing the opposite. Doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. No, we, we want to follow him, his, his plan and do what he says. Jesus, of course we want to. Why would we try to take a shortcut? Short, no shortcuts in the Bible, friend. No shortcuts. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus passes this test. He's he's tempted with basically all the material things, all the prosperous things he could be he could be given and offered, and Jesus says no. No, no way. I'm only going to be true to the things of truth. And so Lord, help us not to uh, fail into these same kind of temptations. Help us not to be be tempted by the material, whether it's uh, people or or some some wealthy thing or something. Lord, help us that we would be sold out to you that only your unselfish, your self-giving, your other-centered uh, character, that that would be for us. That would be what we would become through Jesus. That's our prayer, Lord. Help us with that. Help us day by day and hour by hour, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. We can thank the Lord every day because of the victories that Jesus won are our victories. He showed us the way and he empowers us to live that way. God bless you today with the power of Jesus for any temptation and every temptation you face.